Ever wondered why everyone online seems to have flawless skin and perfect features? It's largely thanks to the booming market of beauty filters, rapidly evolving to offer digital perfection at the tip of your fingers. These filters, like TikTok's recent bold glamour, can transform us into more ideal versions of ourselves, erasing wrinkles and sculpting noses. Yet as we marvel at our filtered faces, we must question the impact on our self-esteem. But at what cost does this digital perfection come? Behind the perfect selfies, there lurks a darker reality. As we strive to keep up with the flawless images flooding our feeds, we often overlook the psychological toll it can take. Beauty filters, while offering a momentary escape into perfection, have been linked to mental health issues such as depression and body dysmorphia. They're also accused of promoting unrealistic beauty standards, injecting doubts and insecurities, especially among impressionable teenagers and young adults. This raises a crucial question. Is it time for change? Some countries have taken steps to curb the potential harm of beauty filters. In Norway, it's now illegal to share altered promotional images without disclosure, a move that's drawn global attention. France and the UK are considering similar laws, with France's economy minister Bruno Le Maire asserting the need to limit the destructive psychological effects of these practices. Yet, the debate continues. Is the issue the filters themselves or our perception of self? But is regulation the solution? Critics argue that tackling beauty filters doesn't address the root of the problem. Media psychologist Pamela Rutledge believes the real issue lies in how we perceive ourselves. She explains, labeling a photo as retouched doesn't improve body image. Adding weight to this, a UK House of Commons survey revealed a startling readiness to alter appearance among under 18s, with only a minute 5% ruling it out. As we navigate this digital age, the question remains, how do we promote positive self-image in the era of beauty filters?